The 2016 Volvo S90 and V90 with Polestar Performance Optimization Package The Volvo S90 was launched in 2016 as a replacement for the aging S80 and revived a nameplate the Swedish brand last used in 1998. The new sedan is not only larger than its predecessor, but also a significant departure in terms of design. The exterior styling is based on the new language introduced with the XC90, while the interior takes the sedan up a couple of steps on the premium ladder, bringing it in line with similar offerings from BMW and Mercedes-Benz. As promised a few years ago, the engine lineup consists only of small displacement, four-cylinder powerplants. But, while they might not sound as good as Volvo's old V8, they deliver a lot of oomph and return impressive fuel economy in most configurations. The V90 is offered in identical specifications, but with a boxier, wagon rear end instead of the sedan's coupe-like design. With both the sedan and station wagon already on sale globally, Volvo is busy creating all sorts of versions based on its range-topping, non-SUV model. The most important addition to the lineup will arrive in the form of Polestar-badged vehicles with sportier exteriors and beefed-up drivetrains, but the company wants to bridge the gap with a few models that offer increased performance without the aggressive appearance of a proper Polestar. This strategy isn't new, but for the new generation of cars, Volvo wants to add more upgrades to the drivetrain and not just a bit more horsepower and torque. The first warmed-up Volvos are set to arrive in October 2016 and, while details about what they will bring to the table are still scarce, the company has published the first official photos. Continue reading to learn more about the Volvo S90 and V90 with Polestar Performance Optimization Package. What makes the Volvo S90 and V90 with Polestar Performance Optimization Package special? Volvo didn't provide details as to what this performance package does to the vehicle's exterior, but based on the first official photos, it's safe to assume that everything remains unchanged except for the blue Polestar stripe added to the badge on the trunk lid. This is not at all surprising given that Volvo is already working on full-fledged Polestar versions of both the S90 and V90 and likely wants to keep the important exterior upgrades for those range-topping models only. With no pictures of the interior and no information to run by, it's safe to assume that the cabin remained unchanged for both cars with the package. The only notable upgrades will be operated under the hood, but unlike previous Polestar optimized models, which only received mild power bumps, the S90 and V90 will get updates in other departments as well. Volvo says that the package will optimize throttle response, gearshift speed, off-throttle response, and gearshift precision. Performance specs aren't yet available, but Volvo said that the package will be offered on the D5 diesel model and the T6 gasoline variant. Since the oil burner isn't available in the US, North American customers will only have access to the T6 version. We expect output to increase by around 10%, which, coupled with the optimized drivetrain and transmission, should shave around two tenths off of the vehicle's 0 to 60 mph sprint. Stick around for updates. Volvo S90 Introduced in 2016 as a replacement for the S80, the S90 is Volvo's new flagship sedan and competitor for the BMW 5 Series and Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Gifted with a modern exterior that brings together a sportier appearance and Volvo's new design language, the sedan also features a more luxurious and state-of-the-art technology. Under the hood, the four-door comes with five drivetrain choices. The diesel lineup includes the D4 and D5 rated at 190 horsepower and 295 pound-feet and 225 horses and 346 pound-feet, respectively. Moving over to gasoline units, there's the T5 with 254 horsepower and 258 pound-feet and the T6 with 316 horses and 295 pound-feet. Finally, the T8 Hybrid, which pairs a 2.0-liter, turbocharged and supercharged 4-banger and an 80-horsepower electric motor connected to the rear axle, is good for 400-horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque. All electric range is rated at 25 miles. Read our full review on the Volvo S90 here. Volvo V90 Released only months after the sedan was unveiled, the V90 was revived after an 18-year hiatus as the company's flagship wagon. 
essentially identical to the S90 outside the utilitarian rear end and the larger trunk, the V90 shares its upscale interior and modern technology with the four-door version. Under the hood it gets the same D4, D5, T5, T6, and T8 options, which make it one of the most versatile station wagons on the market. Read our full review on the Volvo V90 here. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.